Hi, welcome back to ETIC ABC IT Tutorial. This topic is about seed, seeding a replication. Seeding means it already exists. Okay? Um, in that way, it's faster to just reconnect the replication rather than start a new one. Okay? It's always harder the first time to do a replication because imagine if you have a 30 server and you will just replicate that one. You do that usually, uh, you, you do it by, by batch that your bandwidth can handle. And if you have a 20 meg, 20 meg is supposed to be the minimum one to start with the replication. I'm telling you. If you have less than that, you will really suffer uh, slow replication. It will replicate in, a, in, in days or even a weeks. Um, so, my example here, I have this server. Okay, let me show you that. Um, okay, this 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 is the server that I'm going to see, uh, seed the replication. Okay, and let me go back to the storage of the vSphere, and you can see that this really this is the actual one because of all their logs and other blah blah blah, and. If you see on the, this is my colo. This is my remote uh, data center, and this is just the uh, the copy that is right now. It's not being uh, it's not being replicated. There's no connection. So let's do a seeding right now. Let's go to the virtual machines, and when you right click. It doesn't show right away the vSphere menu, but there will be a delay, okay? And then the next one, of course, you use the vCenter server, not a cloud provider. And then select the vCenter. I have only one vCenter. And although there's only one uh, replication server, I'll select it anyway. And then you, you see here that there's a colon one uh, parenthesis one and parenthesis it means that this one already exists so he'll create a new one so if you don't uh, click the advanced disk configuration and then browse meaning he will create a new one he will not use the, the existing one so it, it will not seed so what you can do is browse and look for that server and this is the one now when you click this one you should go horizontally from that line because if you go down it might select the other one okay and then you will do or you will screw up the the system okay so make sure it's it's the right one the first time it will not prompt anything or tell telling you anything okay the second one is the hard drive okay so there's a colon one uh, there's a parenthesis one there so you need to, to click browse and then expand the storage on the remote and look for the server and that's the server now this will prompt because it's, he will tell you that oh this one already exists okay do you want to do that yes or no of course yes and then click next if you have another disk there will be another disk right then you see again the parenthesis one so meaning you're not selecting the existing disk so browse again and s click that one and make sure it's show here before you click ok and then it prompt again do you want to do that it's as an existing one yes click next and then i'll put it first to 24 hours once it's once once it does the initial replication then i'll put it to 30 30 minutes and then you see you should see all the hard is supposed to be existing if not existing then it'll create a new one so you have a multiple storage and you don't want to do that because you know one bm is big storage and it will eat your storage and click finish now let's see on the replication
Okay, there's actually uh, initial pull sync also from infra and it's almost done so I can start this one also so that's it guys that's how you seed a replication you don't always want to do that you only do that on the very beginning and I have also topic if uh, if it happens that the ID of the the hard drive get, is got mixed up or got changed it happens when uh, when you uh, do a restore from your backup and then run a new VM. Of course, the UID of that hard drive is different, and you, you try to see, see it, and you have to you have to edit the the, the colo to make it the same so that it will it will allow the the, the seeding, and that will be my, my other topic sometime. Okay, ciao.